We have a question about grief, keeping grief in a comfort zone. This is from Phil. My wife, Helen, became ill at the end of 2019 with a serious heart attack and stroke. She fought for six months and I experienced anticipatory grief. I have been working through my lived experience of grief and believe strongly in all the positive strategies, dual process, working around my grief, continuing bonds, finding meaning. I talk a lot with others and share similar experiences and will continue to do this as I move forward. My question is, is it possible to keep our grief wrapped up in too much of a comfort zone so that it is a block to working through grief? You know, this is a good place to sort of bring in the, the discussion. Many people know my work from On Grief and Grieving with Elizabeth Kubler-Ross. And we talked about the stages, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, acceptance. And now I'm so honored that they allowed me to add a sixth stage meaning. But as Elizabeth taught, for anyone who's read our book literally on page one, um, those stages are not linear. Um, and I think to remember, grief is organic. It's a very messy thing. I mean, I've never, even as a grief specialist, I've never had a, um, a successful time making my grief neat. It comes out when I don't want it to. It shows up in places I don't want it to. Um, it comes in waves. It comes in storms and all those things. I often call them grief bursts. So I, I, I think whenever we find ourselves trying to stay in the comfort zone of grief. What if you just said, you know, I'm going to let the day be the day. I'm going to let the feelings be the feelings and just let them out and see what comes out. 